yo, I'm a virgin, but I know what I'm doing ass. Should have told me, no, you supposed to put it in. Well, you should have went home and watched some flicks or something. No! <laughs> Damn, she was hunching, y'all. <laughs> she was hunching. I was dry hunching, but just with the real parts, you know? No. Lied to me. I didn't lie. He had me thinking I was doing it. She had herself thinking that she was doing it. You, as a boyfriend, should have led me in the right direction. And you wanted some dick, so you should have known you what you was doing. It made its way in, and I was just like, I'm not ready for this. Yeah, it was just like that. He didn't look at me like that. He was just kind of like, lay your ass down. And I was like, okay. Wouldn't it be funny if I just like stuck it in? I was like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, damn. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> He was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's normal, it doesn't happen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, it happened. It happened. probably lasted 10 minutes. I don't even think he knew what he was doing because it was grown to us now. And if anything lasts for 10 minutes, then he. She keeps saying that I didn't know what I was doing. Of oh course. Oh my god. Of I thought that you wasn't a virgin. You see, so. you see what assumptions get you? Misinformation. This is where assumptions get you. I should take your ass we to court should. for defamation. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, no! I should take you for defamation for thinking I was doing a thing in the closet. But I ain't going on YouTube telling everybody you ain't know what you were. Well, now nah, everybody. Look, I didn't she know, know she, beat your Like ass I said, she was in that bitch trying to do the crybaby on the nigga. No, I was not. Disappear. Bye bye, bitch. See you later. So, after it happened, I ended up going home. Don't y'all wish like after like certain events of your life you can have like a playback? <laughs> <laughs> so what the fuck would you play back? We were reviewing my ass with the bathroom and I you know, What you gonna play back? Huh? What you gonna play back? I don't know what you're talking about. What you gonna play back? Oh. We gonna play back some other bitches? <laughs> we got 10 minutes left. Shit. <laughs> so, whenever I went to the bathroom, I was like, See, assumptions. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pad. You know, I don't wanna play, wanna play, uh, replay back my golden years. Shut up. You know, after a couple of hours, yeah, I was bleeding a little bit. You know. Googling, yes, a bitch was Googling at the age of 13, the bitch Googled every motherfucking night, and whenever she fucked the first time, you might bleed. So, that was right, though. Damn, like, yeah, you're right. this shit is some serious ass shit. People well, be see, making it seem I'll... like fucking is just so amazing, it just feels so good, bitch. You're, you bleed, I'm thinking something like, bitch, you bleed, why is everybody fucking abusing bleeding? How the fuck you gonna bleed after this? So why is everybody making it seem like fucking is just... Yeah, but you don't do it. It was just first time, sis, so that's all. Now it is. Now I ain't gonna need much line. Now it is. But whenever I was initially thinking about it, I was like, damn, this is not serious. Like, this is not serious. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is not serious. 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 Like, this is you can't pull out. Why can't? That day we had open house. That was the day that I skipped school. So my mama ended up going. I wasn't even thinking about it. Like, shit, she going? Oh, fuck it. Yeah, I skipped school today, but whatever. Fuck it. She went to open house and they came. This bitch was silent. This motherfucker. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? And the thing, whatever she quiet, something is wrong. Like she either don't want to talk about it right now. Or whatever you, you 
don't hear it. You don't even find out what it is, but, but it might not be that same day or hour or minute, second, whatever. So, but you don't, you don't feel what she feeling eventually. So that night, Mama called me. That is no And she was like, okay, so I went to your school and your teacher was asking me, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, well, I'm asking because she said that you wasn't at the school. Hey, y'all. Whenever she said that shit, I, I can't even imagine. Her heart dropped into her ass. <laughs> my soul. But the feeling that was upon my soul, my spirit, the whole motherfucking atmosphere of Angelique, it was a shitty ass feeling. And I was like, oh my fucking gosh. A I bitch just got, got caught fucking. fucking. So we dog in room. Can't rob the bank with your mom. Look, she knew. You, you, you snitched to your mom. You didn't snitch to mom. She knew. She knew about me. She knew about me. That day. No, she didn't. Just take you to the doctor to go get your hymen check. But I that that's true, right? They could really do that, right? <laughs> Fucking out it. Well, that's what they tell people who have been sexually assaulted. Why they can't tell that? I'm pretty sure. So, sure. Mm -hmm. Y'all know whenever she said that, I just have to go ahead and tell her truth, cause bitch, I don't want to go to the doctor. Oh my god. So that same week, she ended up making me an appointment any fucking way. Why? I don't know, but she ended up making me a doctor anyway. What she did forget to mention to, to y'all is that for a while, she thought she was pregnant. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know. Because, <laughs> you know, we wasn't using condoms. We usually try to use condoms like one good time. But after that, we wasn't using condoms. So I'm just like, bro, I gotta be pregnant. Like, he, he, he nothing it up. Like, we, you know. He never used no condoms. I remember specifically we were on that couch. Us trying to use a condom one time. And we used it probably like five seconds. And that was it. Nah. I don't know. And then she, she wanted to say. His selective it. memory. The doctor had asked mama. I'm not doing what she said. <laughs> my mama was like, No, I'm gonna put my birth control, but then that's gonna make her feel like she's going to fuck anyway. No, she did. Like, I wouldn't do this to my, to my children. Because, I mean, you tell them no, that just gonna make them want to do the shit more anyway. Mm -hmm. I'd rather put them on birth control to prevent them from getting pregnant and having children at the age that I was at. He wasn't that young, he was 18. I was 18 when I had my first child, but still that's, you no, know, I didn't even get to have my glory years. <laughs> that's why I need that playback button. Boy, <laughs> well, how like, about we both get the playback button? How about that? Do you think if I got pregnant, would we have had the same looking kids right now? If we had two boys? I mean. You think they'll look alike? No, because think about it. Cause they're a different age? They're a different neck. <laughs> yeah. I ain't lying though. That's not gonna make a motherfucker want to fuck anyway. Because the regardless, bitch on work the shot, pill, the, the sticker, whatever the fuck they got. The sticker. Ring on the ring. The stick patch. Don't fuck. Bitch, you want to fuck. That's the kids. Fuck these days. I mean, that's just reality. Kids be fucking. You just gotta, as a parent, you gotta teach them young what, what the game is. You gotta let them know. I feel like. Yeah, so they won't be out there doing the crybaby. Now let me stop you right there. I don't even know if they heard it. Basically, I was talking about when my mama went to his mama's house to talk. 
They came to my people's house and snitched on me. Look, mama asked me where you lived at. You already knew what she was gonna do. Of course, yes, I did. Absolutely. All I did was get a talking to. Yeah. <laughs> Pop's like, didn't I tell you not to have no girls up in my house? Mm -hmm. Do you need to have a talk about the birds and the bees? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was pissed. <laughs> like, damn, oh, I can't go outside and play, but he outside with his boys and shit. I'm looking outside the window and shit, like, damn, he outside hopping like she was Like, she was a princess locked up in the castle and some shit, passing notes and shit out the window. <laughs> Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> I was like, wow, boys really just got it easy. Mama went to his house and legit told her that he was fucking somebody else's daughter. She talked to both of my parents. No. No, 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 sweetheart. <laughs> Pasta was not there that day. I call his daddy Pasta. Pasta was not there, I promise you. I was there whenever your mama was, whenever mama was there. I, I remember what I was oh, wearing and everything. When your I daddy got, was not there. Your daddy probably got When I got, got in the later. house that day, I got talked because we was at Walmart. We went to Walmart. Well, maybe he was in a room. No, he wasn't. He was your there. Your daddy wasn't outside. Your daddy did not talk to him at all. Your daddy have never seen my mama. Never. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You call your mama tomorrow and ask. The only reason I call would, would be at Walmart. He probably was in town. I'm not saying he wasn't in town, but I'm telling you, whenever we knocked on that door, we only spoke did to your mama. Did y'all even go in the house? Yes, we did. We sat on the couch. We sure did. And we most definitely did. The same couch she nutted on. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Call your mama tomorrow. I'm a text in the group. I couldn't go outside. All that I could have did was go to school and come home. So I've been looking outside my fucking windows, looking at all her friends, play outside and shit. Because, you know, I couldn't do none of that. So I'm just looking outside, like, just watching everybody. So to wrap it up, my mama didn't trust me walking to the bus stop no more because, like, we would catch the bus in front of the apartment complex. And before I got caught to the school, I would just walk to the bus stop myself. She was like, no, bitch, I'm trying to help me so I'm going to be driving to the bus stop. I couldn't even skip anymore. You wasn't supposed to be skipping I in the first place. He was in 10th grade at the time. And his bus would always come before my bus, but he was already there. So she drove up to the, the gate. You know, you go into the apartment complex. Because that's where the bus took stuff at. And he was around, so I went and walked next to him. And we had his head on and listening to music, acting like he was a good bus. And I had ran him a letter. I forgot what the letter said. I don't know what it said, but it was all in the room. The letter was basically like, you know, I miss you. Um, I'm a snitch. No, my mama made me tell her the truth and I couldn't lie, but I'm a I snitch. really want to be with you. You know, now, can't even really be mad about that. I shouldn't have been mad about it because, you know. So what? you finally admit it because that's, cause he finally fucking admit it. I'm like, I listened to you because I sat there. I listened to her. I heard everything she said. And my mama let me go to that bus stop. And my mama still sat there to that bus left. So the whole time I'm talking to him, he got his headphones in. And I feel like he ain't even really fucking with it or whatever. So I'm just like, damn, like, a bitch feel kind of stupid. But at least I gave him this letter. At least I gave him my last little piece or whatever. And he was just like, he was just real bitter about it. Like, I wouldn't say bitter. Giving very much bitter. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, yeah, in order for it to be bitter, you know, I have to like... Not fuck with a bitch. Yep, and that's what you did. You didn't fuck with a bitch no I more. I wasn't bitter. Your mama tried to get me in trouble. <laughs> but you wasn't even in trouble, really. Like, you just got a fucking talking. That's it. I really thought I that she that was in love. One bitch really wasn't. Really thought. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was really acting like he really was Like, he just was kind of like, he was just like nonchalant like situation. I'm a just nonchalant person. And his mama was too. And he still is. <laughs> That's just us. <laughs> That's just us. Like we just don't give a fuck. We just go with the flow. Real love goes against everything. Real, no, real love let love you know 
Let it go. Let it go and come back with two kids mm -hmm. and have two more. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Man, that's the ghetto way we did it. I mean, <laughs> shit, we had no fucking choice. Oh, but if you would have kept your word and no, you would have talked to me, no matter what. It wasn't what, happening because y'all even, y'all moved. Yeah, after the fact, okay, after the so hurricane. It, def it definitely was going to happen then. Well, we could have exchanged numbers and talked on no, the No, we seen each other at a party later on. <laughs> we did. But at that time, I was in a relationship, and you know. I don't cheat. You got the number though. Yeah. But he never texted me. Because I don't cheat. I was like, damn, I should have got his fucking number. Me thinking he gonna fucking text a bitch back. Really, I should never got the number. I was already in a relationship. I mean, it was friendly at the time, anyways. Mm -hmm. You, yeah. But I was already fucking with people, anyways. I didn't, I didn't want to yeah, be that, with that's you. That's how you ended up getting pregnant. And anyway, that's how you ended up getting pregnant. Uh, I did have a Facebook in 2016. It was just a different Facebook account. I don't think we talked. I don't think we talked either, but we probably I probably commented on something that she did or probably said and then left it at that. My whole day Facebook after I got into a relationship, I deleted it. And it was on the whole day Facebook page. It was the one of them that I could just every now and then go to the page and be like, mm, look at what could have been and then just get back off the bitch, you know? Oh, you was stalking me then, huh? Every now and then. And what, what it look like I was doing? Bad, because you wasn't with me. That's what you was doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he got a boy. Well, I know he got a baby now. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what when he did. When did this video come out? This is in 2016. I don't know if the nigga said that. You don't have nothing. That's my story. The moral of my story is, if you young and you don't know what you're doing, you're not getting what you want. Even if you're 20, oh, 22, 20, it don't matter. If you a virgin, period. Okay. Age don't matter. But if you're a virgin, no, don't. <laughs> don't try to close the video out. Let's okay. hear the moral. Like, you don't matter if a nigga telling you he loves you. Don't be so Same thing for the fellas. I mean, yeah, it feels good. Don't but focus on yourself. <laughs> no nothing November, remember. Yeah, remember. Remember. Huh? Remember. Ladies, save yourself for as long as you can. It's not that serious. And if you just feel the need to have sex, wrap that shit the fuck up. Tell them your moral. Let me hear this. Moral of the story. If y'all get a female, right? If she doing the crybaby on you, just get up and just walk off. Oh her. my god! It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and if she ain't shaved down there, she a nasty motherfucker. If he gonna eat it and you know what it's true, he a nasty motherfucker if too. She grab your shoes and just run out the door. <laughs> Not everybody believes in that, okay? I didn't know anything about that at that time. I really enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all thought. If you have any video suggestions, put it in the comment section below. Don't forget <laughs> to follow me on all of my social medias. Go to angelictouchcos.com, 50% off using the code Miss Angelique TV. So don't forget. And I guess we're gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace. Thank y'all. See you in the next video. Not me. He tried to fucking sell me down the river it and then try to call April 6, 2016. And she tried to call me a nasty motherfucker. Look, I definitely, ain't, I definitely ain't been in no more videos. They been knowing I was a nasty motherfucker yep. for, for what? Almost for six five years. years. Almost six years, huh? Six years. Damn. Crazy. That's gonna be a video to edit.